This video demonstrates how to clone PCR products using the PGMT vector system. Briefly centrifuge the PGMT vector and control insert DNA tubes. Set up the ligation reactions. Vortex the 2x rapid ligation buffer vigorously before each use. For the standard reaction, add the following to a 0.5 milliliter tube. 5 microliters of 2x rapid ligation buffer, 1 microliter of PGMT vector, PCR product, 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase, and deionized water to a final volume of 10 microliters. Limit exposure of your PCR product to shortwave UV light to avoid formation of pyrimidine dimers. Avoid the introduction of nucleases, which may degrade the T overhangs on the vector, by using only the T4 DNA ligase provided with the system. Assemble a positive control in a 0.5 milliliter tube with 5 microliters of ligation buffer, 1 microliter of PGMT vector, 2 microliters of control insert DNA, 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase, and 1 microliter of deionized water for a final volume of 10 microliters. Assemble a background control in a 0.5 milliliter tube with 5 microliters of ligation buffer, 1 microliter of PGMT vector, 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase, and 3 microliters of deionized water for a final volume of 10 microliters. Mix the reactions by pipetting and incubate for one hour at room temperature. Alternatively, and for the maximum number of transformants, incubate the reactions overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. To transform the cells with the PGMT vector, begin by preparing LB auger plates containing ampicillin, IPTG, and XGAL. Centrifuge the ligation reactions briefly. Add 2 microliters of each ligation reaction to a sterile tube on ice. Prepare a control tube with 0.1 nanograms of an uncut plasmid. Place the JM109 high efficiency competent cells in an ice bath until just thawed, approximately 5 minutes. Mix the cells by gently flicking the tube. Carefully transfer 50 microliters of cells to the ligation reaction tubes. Use 100 microliters of cells for the uncut DNA control tube. Gently flick the tubes and incubate on ice for 20 minutes. Heat shock the cells for 45 to 50 seconds in a water bath at exactly 42 degrees Celsius. Do not shake the tube. Immediately return the tube to ice for 2 minutes. Add 950 microliters of room temperature SOC medium to the ligation reaction transformations. Add 900 microliters of room temperature SOC medium to the uncut DNA control transformation. Incubate for one and one half hours at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking. Plate 100 microliters of each transformed culture onto duplicate plates. For the uncut DNA control, a 1 to 10 dilution with SOC is recommended. Incubate the plates overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. Select white colonies from the ligation reactions to test for the presence of insert. Use only high efficiency competent cells for transformations. Use of super high efficiency competent cells may result in a higher background of blue colonies, while the use of subcloning efficiency cells may result in insufficient colony growth.